Hello Western. So the next thing I want to talk about is something called the superposition principle. And the superposition principle tells us what happens when two waves collide. And it states that when two waves collide, the resulting disturbance is equal to the sum of the disturbances of the two waves. So to illustrate this, I have two waves drawn here at the bottom. I have this wave that's on the left that's moving towards the right, and I have this wave that's on the right that's moving towards the left. And when these two waves meet up in the center, we can see that the resulting disturbance is just equal to the sum of the two disturbances. So we have this peak that's twice as high. And I should have shown this, but at a time that's even later than this, what we'll wind up having is we'll have these two waves will pass through each other. So this wave that's on the left will eventually be on the right, and it'll continue moving to the right. And this wave that was on the left will be on the I'm sorry, this wave that was initially on the right will be on the left, and it'll continue moving to the left. Now, another example of this, I show two waves that have distur disturbances that are in opposite directions. So this wave has a disturbance that points up, this wave has a disturbance that points down. But the superposition principle is still the same. So at this point where they meet, we would add a disturbance that's up with a disturbance that's down, and we wind up with nothing. So these two waves cancel when they meet up at the center. So now I want to work through just a simple example of this. So I have these two waves here. This wave that's red is moving to the right at a speed of one unit per second. And this wave that's on the right is moving to the left at the speed of one unit per second. And the question is, is what is the resulting disturbance going to look like at time t equals one? two, and three. So let me go ahead and just erase this and switch colors. So the red wave, one second later, is going to be over here. And the blue wave, at one second later, is going to be over here. So what we can see about this is that right here in the center we have two waves. We have the red wave and the blue wave. So the superposition principle says we should add those together and get a resulting disturbance that goes all the way up to here. And if we look on the next slide, that's exactly what we see. So here was the red wave, and the blue wave was here, but they add together, so we get this disturbance up here. So what's going to happen at time t equals 2? Well, again, we just need to redraw these graphs so that they've been shifted over. So the red now is going to be over here and the blue one is going to be over here. And now what happens is in this region right here we have this blue disturbance that's down and we have this red disturbance which is pointing up. So in this region these two waves are going to cancel. So we'll have it come up here because of the blue and then it's going to cancel here and then come up again because of the red. So we can see that's exactly what we wind up with. Now, finally, I want to look at what happens at time t equals 3. So now, at that point, this red wave is going to wind up over here, and this blue wave is going to wind up over here. What we can see is at this point, the two waves have just completely passed through each other. The blue wave has its initial shape, and it's moving to the left. The red wave has its initial shape, and it's continuing to move to the right. So from this point, there's just not going to be any more superposition kind of things going on because the waves have passed through each other. And in the next video, what I want to start talking about is what happens when we have waves that reflect off the of surfaces and bounce back towards each other, and what the superposition principle tells us will happen in those situations.